Hello my lovelies, Rob here again from Kickback Garage. In this video we're going to be talking about the uh, Jockey's Box and Stop replacement H4 headlight. So if that's something you fancy having a ganja, grab me a cell of coffee, I'll send the old scooter over. Wow! Right, in almost every video that I make, that I start up one of my scooters, someone always comments on how bright my lights are. And uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you how you get them as bright as I do. Um, I'll, I'll throw up a bit of footage here and I'll babble along. Right, there's a couple of things I do to get those really, really bright headlights of mine. And uh, here in Norway, they're completely necessary. Not only do we have... Um, daytime running light low over here we do have lots of tunnels and a lot of those on the back road aren't even lit whatsoever so uh riding around with a candle light at night is just not fun whatsoever so uh i'm really dependent on having good lights now the secret or the tricks here is uh it's the jockey's box and stop h4 headlamp replacement uh jobby here but also, I always replace my uh, rear light with a LED uh, board. Now, uh, BGM make them. I've used those. They're quite good. Uh, but my favorite at the moment is uh, one that I bought on uh, eBay. And uh, what I'll do, uh, I'm going to take this apart. And I'm going to show you how to fit one of these, the Jockey's Box and Stop lights. I'll tell you who makes the uh, light boards that I use. I've been really impressed with them. Very good. And, uh, and a big thanks to uh, Jockey's uh, Box and Stop because the boys down there, they sent me a new ring because this is uh, one of the things that you have to bend into place so that you can fit this into your Lambretta. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll uh, take this out and we'll have a look at the wiring and I'll show you how to fit it. And I'll tell you what comes in with the kit and all that sort of stuff, okay? Right, before I uh, go through what you get with the kit, let me just open my mobile phone here. The uh, LED LED boards that I've been buying uh, are off a lad that calls himself, I presume it's a lad, uh, let's have a look, Bespoke Sign Bits on uh, eBay here. Uh, the thing that's uh, pretty distinctive with those is they've got like two round two round lights. Oh, look, let's have a look. They look like this. <laughs> Famous last words, eh? My eBay uh, LED has stopped working. <laughs> I just found out I haven't got a rear light. I had a rear brake, but not a rear light. So the uh, eBay special has to go. And I've had that quite a few years, so good service out of that. And I'm now fitting the uh, BGM type one here. Um, this one looks like I bought this off LTH. So this has got to be at least two years old. But these things are really easy to replace. I got an extra one uh, already in my cupboard, just in case, as you do. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to fit this and we'll see if this works as well. What comes with the kit? Well, I'll tell you. You get all the screws that you need to fix the headlight. You get this flat ring, which is a little bit confusing. The instructions are, because uh, Jockey's Box and Stop is from uh, Southern Germany, uh, they're not too good at the old uh, English instruction manual. So that's why I thought I'd go through this. You get a, a ring that comes with the kit. Uh, I think he sells uh, Scootopia ones now, which is the same as this, but when I first bought this scooter, uh, I had a Casa Lambretta item, but that started rusting after about six years, so I uh, changed this last year. And you get this uh, light unit here, which is uh, obviously a H4 bulb. Let's have a look at that. You get this uh, connector on the back. H4 connector. So let me uh, take out this uh, light bulb because what I want to find out is uh, what sort of wattage it is. Now the reason why we use LED rear light on this uh, system 
is because the LED rear lights, they pull very, very little power from your system. And even when I had the terrible Variatronic with 90 watts of power, I still had a very, very good headlight. Now let's have a look, what's this? Mm -mm -mm. It is, it's actually uh, 55 watt. So yeah. So what that means is when you use the LED rear light, then uh, all the available power that you've got goes to the headlight. And it's uh, really quite good. And the, the, the other advantage, obviously, with the LED rear light as well, is the fact that it uh, it's also very, very bright. There you go, that just fits in there. Cut the spring clips sort of like the original. Now, uh, there's very little room in the, in the, the Lambretta headset, so it, com it comes with these, which are like sort of a rubber gator to uh, stop water ingress, but the, the first thing you do with that is bin it. <laughs> it just it makes, gives you lots, uh, lots more room. And if, you're, if you've got the uh, Series 3 type uh, light unit, then uh, that comes with uh, a connection board on the back, whereas the Series 2 does not. So what I do, uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, what I like to do is actually take off the uh, connecting uh, board that's in the headset there, and I just connect the wires uh, directly, which is, uh, which is the best way to do it, I reckon. If uh, Looking at the video, I can see that it's flickering a little bit, so I've got a loose connection here somewhere and uh, the action cam type cameras, they really, really don't show how good this light is. Uh, they are, uh, seriously, when I turn my scooter on at night, it's just a festival of light. So let's uh, get cracking, I'll show you how to fit this. So the first thing you have to do is bend this ring. Now, if you look at the light here, you can see, the ring sits here and these tabs, you have to bend them up so that they go straight up and a little bit of an angle and you've got this fixing hole here for the screw. So ideally you need two decent uh, pliers and you have to bend it up, bend it up. So the aim of the game is uh, this first slat here, you have to bend this tab up at 90 degrees. Uh, it's quite solid actually. The old ring, let's have a look at that. The old ring that I had, this is the seven year old one, this was galvanized, whereas this one, the new ones, they're uh, stainless. So what I think I have to do here, because it's a little bit harder, and my original one, I'm gonna have to hold it there and bend it up. Oh, need to <laughs> need to get it at, at 90 degrees. Actually, I think I'm gonna put that in a box. So that was so so hard, the uh, the metal there. That when I was uh, bending up these tabs, I was bending the. Uh, the round ring here. So what I did was clamp this in a vise and I, did, I actually tapped it down with a little rubber hammer. So let's see if that will fit on my on my light module. So like yes so that fits on my light module and the object of the game now is to bend there I think it's 45 degrees Yep, 45, uh, for, bend it back 45 degrees up to the second slat. We'll do that. That looks about right. I'll soon find out when I fit it to the light. So hold that there. Light pliers here. So look what that looks like. This piece here, I've snapped off on purpose. I'll show you why. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I 
No, I've been uh, I've been riding in torrential torrential rain with this thing. So what I see I've done wrong now is that actually has to continue. It's the second slot that really needs bending. Cool. So what I have to do now is bend from the second slot 45 degree angle. Just take your time. There's no point rushing these things. Oh, it's tough. It's a tough cookie. There you go. Something like that. Same on the other side. Right, so as you see, this uh, bracket follows the light there, and it's just a case of fitting the uh, screws in the hole here. These screws, incidentally, they come with a kit. Now don't be di disappointed when you buy this and you find out that it's uh, plastic because uh, what I used to do in the olden days, I used to uh, convert original type, where's my... Uh... <laughs> I used to convert original type uh, headlights to H H4 bulb. Uh, the problem with that is that the, the reflectors in original type bulbs, they're just not made for... Uh, H4, H4 bulbs, so uh, they give a terrible uh, light, and if you've got a rusty one as well, then uh, I see it's moving, I have to sort of hold it into the rim there, if you if this goes too far back then the, the, the headlight itself will stick, it up, stick out a bit too far, so I'll uh, hold it into the rim there while I'm uh, tightening it down. So it sits flush there, same as this side. There you go, so that sits flush there, all the way around. Just nip these up. So these have got a captive nut, uh, nut on the back. So, so that's uh, all tightened down. And then you take a rim, like so. And it's just a case of uh, fitting the light into the original type rim. Mine's been bent. When you buy a new one, it won't bent like this. So you have to ease it over these, these tabs. There you go. And before you, so this is upside down. <laughs> I'll see if I can. Spin it around. It says top there. I'll try and line it up so that the bottom is with the screw here. Because I saw that it was a little bit skew with. What do you reckon? So that's how it sits in the headlight rim. It's just a little bit dirty and it's got had lots of flies splatter on this, but this unit is seven years old. I'm really, really pleased with it. It's uh, excellent. So that's there. And then it's just a case of, uh, where is my screwdriver? There. Then it's just a case of uh, bending these tab washers 
over this metal plate. I can just uh, nip those down there. And that incidentally is why I'm doing it on my seat because I don't want to ruin the ruin the lens. Nice and snug. So as you see, I've got loads of stuff in my headset here. This is the box, the magic box for my SIP Speedo. And that's the reason why I've <laughs> taken off the plastic at the bottom there. Uh, basically, what I do when I fit this is I hide the box for the SIP Speedo under there. On my Series 1, I've uh, hidden that on the back of the scooter, which is a bit more practical. So now it goes to uh, plugging it in. And, let's have a look. I'm gonna change these connectors. I'm gonna run down to the shop and change these connectors. And I'm gonna change my earth connection there as well. Because, uh, because of the flickering, I'm not sure what happened, why it was doing that. But, uh, and another thing that happened, While I was uh, step up, while I was manhandling my pilot uh, light, I managed to snap off one of the connectors. That <laughs> it's not really a problem. I think I'm just going to cut them off because that's what I did on the series uh, series one. I just cut them off because we've got the old uh, daytime running light thing here. I never ever use this anyway, so I'm just going to cut those off and put it on. But I'm going to show you where they fit. This is just. Uh, from fatigue and the fact that they've been squashed in the headset over the last seven years. But the the black wire here is, uh, I made a little list here. The pilot light, the brown wire, which is not really brown, it's purple if you ask me. <laughs> that is uh, power and the black one is earth. So you connect this to earth and this purple one, which is uh, quoted as brown, it may be brown on the new uh, on the new sets, the new kits. This one I fit to the yellow from my switch, and that means that when you switch over from uh, on my LI at least, when I switch over from position one to two, it goes from main light to pilot light, and then you've got this like small light. You could use it as a daytime running light, but it's it's not powerful enough here in uh, in Norway. So looking at my pre-made picture, uh, blue, I fit to blue from the switch. White, I fit to red from the switch. And green, I fit to earth on the headset there. So let's plug it all in and uh, see how that works. I've just fit a uh, new earth wire. Uh, I, this was a double earth uh, for the pilot light, but because I can't use that anymore, I'm, uh, I've just uh, made myself up a new earth wire. Uh, one thing to note when you're doing uh, electrics is uh, these insulated, if you have to use these insulated plastic crappy uh, connectors, then uh, make sure that you use a proper tool because the uh, the cheap tools really don't work that good on them. And what I mean is one of these, like a proper ratchet tool. Once you've uh, crimped them down there, just give them a proper tug, make sure, a proper tug, not a namby-pamby tug, a proper one, make sure that they sit properly. So that's the uh, light connected here. White to red, green to earth, blue to blue on the switch housing. And it's just a case of me trying to find a uh, room in this uh, headset here. What I do is, 
I fit this under there and try and get these wires out of the way well it's squishing them too much oh jeez it's a pain isn't it it's not surprised uh, not surprising I had a bit of a short circuit there but that's just the way it is so I'll put those in there that fits there like so and connect the connector here and then just fit it just like you would uh, your original so uh, let me do that and I'll uh, turn the camera off and uh, we'll fire it up and see uh, if the lights are working as they should be well, that was the uh, headlight fit. As you can see, it looks smashing there. It obviously doesn't look exactly like the uh, original Innocenti item, but never in the seven years that I've owned this light has someone said to me, hey, up, Rob, you haven't got the right light glass. Not at all. But what, what does happen uh, quite often, actually, is uh, when it gets really dark or we're going through big tunnels and stuff like that, dark tunnels, then uh, they normally send me out in the front so at least one of us can see <laughs> while we're driving in the dark so it's an excellent light it's got a, it gets a big thumbs up from me as you can see it's uh, e-marked as well so uh brilliant so what i think i'll do i'll turn off my uh light in the garage here and i'll start it up and uh, i'll show you how bright this thing really is Give me some revs, Rob. So as you see there, it was a festival of light and uh, nothing compared to the standard six volt light that you get uh, on your Lambretta. So uh, uh, another big thanks to Mr. Chucky's Box and Stop for the ring there so I can show how to bend that. And uh, don't forget, if you enjoyed this stuff, do the old subscribe. If you want to support the channel, you can either buy merch or buy me a cup of coffee. And I'll see you in the next one. ta -ra.